Alrighty guys, I'm not going to waste any time. We're going to get stuck straight into it today. Um, if you missed the last episode, make sure you go back and watch it. Um, you'll see I got sort of halfway through, still in the catch can, and I was trying to remove the intake pipe over here um, and was having a bit of trouble and I ran out of light um, and actually had to uh, take the car to work the following day. So yeah, I had to put a bit of a pause on the install and yeah, we'll get stuck into it again today. Um, so just a super quick recap, we've got the bracket installed over here, uh, just temporarily put my isolator switch for the winch, zip tied it on there for now and I'll do it properly. And we've um, popped the catch can on here and run the drain line down here which will have to be moved a bit because it's actually rubbing on the upper arm. Uh, but other than that, just need to run the lines now over to the catch can. So let's get that, get that sorted. I'm still having issues getting this pipe off. Like there's only a hose clamp holding it on in there, but it's just, it's either that tight or it's like seized on there. Which is really annoying, like I can pull as hard as I can twisting and everything because it just connects onto another pipe here that goes down into the turbo but it is completely stuck but also I want to replace this in the future because this is not a very strong pipe at all but I'm thinking if I hold this back I should now have access to the uh, the clamp that's holding on the little hose there that we need to get to good times Uh, yes, clamp is now off, so it should, oh. that was way too high than it should have been, in an ideal world that would just come off to give you extreme access to it, but so we need to keep heat shield for the new pipe we're chucking on there. This one we can probably just keep as a spare and go into the graveyard with original parts. Now I just need to get the new one down in there which would probably be a pain in the ass as well but getting there. So in the kit you get two hoses so we will do the longer one first because that's what's going to run down to where we just took that piece out. That goes down back where the other one was. And you can see it's got plenty of room to make it around the back of the engine. And then goes across back into, into the pro vent and then that'll be the other one that comes back around again. And go back in. Getting that. Putting on the new one back into the intake down here is actually going to be pain in the ass as well. So I'm just going to put the hose clamp on first. Make sure it's facing away. That'll be easier to get to, put it on, put the hose clamp down. Hopefully it doesn't take me as long as the other one. Sam came out <laughs> to see how I was going. I was struggling really hard and I just reefed out the intake pipe. It was literally like seized on there. So. Screw you, and gave me so much better access down in here to get that off. So these um, hose clamps, so the ones that came with the kit, they looked a little bit smaller than the ones that were already on there. So it was super hard to get the clip over the, uh, the little like barb piece in there. So um, what I did was grind back this little bit just so I could squeeze that a little bit more and open it up. And it's on there, so that's not going anywhere. So now I can finally continue putting pipes on. All right, so I just double checked the instructions. So the pipe going from the intake has to go to the bottom of the catch can. So I'm just gonna put it together first and then I'll zip tie it. So it's got a couple of points like here, you can zip tie it 
I'll run the other hose around and zip tie those up the top there and everything. Now we can get our smaller length to connect here. Follow the same path around and then connect the top. So I definitely missed a step of re-sleeving the this pipe with this off the standard one because of how much of a pain it was to get on what I've done is I've just cut a slit in this and I'm just going to put it over the pipe. It shouldn't go anywhere um, but yeah so make sure you cover up that before you put it on as well. So I've got all the hoses connected now. So they're connected down here, the heat shield wrapped around, connected here, both wrapping around the top of the engine into the red vent. So now I'll just tidy these up, make sure they're sitting there nicely, make sure there's no kinks or anything. So now all I have to do is put it all back together. So intake pipe back in, cover back on, and I should obviously do something better than just zip tying that up there, tidy that section up, but I'll do that off camera. Yeah, pretty happy with that. It took me way longer than what it probably should have, but yeah, good times. So it looks like everything's working. Time to be alive. Ooh. So, if you enjoyed this episode, guys, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. But I will see you in the next episode. Peace.